It's Calder's birthday, and I convinced him once again that together we could pull off a simple little feast. He doesn't have to do much of the work, really. He just has to hang out. But here's the scoop. Normally you think with the party that you have to go out and buy something fancy and make it. But the only place we went is to the refrigerator door. And like our friend Beth says, this is a refrigerator door dish. But we're going to make it special. Because once your friends come over and it's delicious, it doesn't matter where it came from. So here's what I'm doing. I pulled everything that I know you like out of the refrigerator. And we're going to go for a marinade that I think is going to be beautiful. So for you, no heavy work here. Just please zest this orange. Get off the rind that has just got such great flavor. We're going to use the juice, too. And I have a lot of garlic that I've been cutting here. Six cloves. Where we're going with this is an orange caramelized pork roast. That's what I'm thinking. We always have a freezer full of pork. I'm not kidding. We have, like, do. pork belly <laughs> pork chops. Lie. It's not a lie. So for this, it was like, oh, come on, caller. We don't have to do too much work. We can just pull, you know, the pork roast out and get it marinated. All right. So anytime you have a pork roast and you start with a lot of minced garlic, you're fine. Now, here's the other thing I'm thinking about this. We're doing it all in one pan, our marinade as well as our cooking. Just get the juice out of that. All you have to do is cut it in half. Because I'm thinking, so I go garlic, I go orange. Orange is leading the charge here. And that's usually where I start when I'm putting some flavor into something. I start in one place. So then we go through the refrigerator door. We have a cup of white wine and a cup of soy sauce. So the wine's kind of on the sweet side, what we happen to have in the fridge. And the soy sauce, so already I'm playing with flavors here. So I'm just going to eyeball a cup. And you have a lot of sweet going on, but that is really good when it comes to pork, right? It is, and also because I'm mixing it in a cup of soy sauce. And you know that I like that like caramelized thing that sweet gives. I know. And this is something that actually was in the fridge from, I think you brought me this, actually. It's Honey my mustard. I it's, love you, that. My stone ground so, sweet mustard. So this has got some sweet to it, too. But don't forget, with the savory, we have the garlic. I think I'm going to go with about a third a cup of mustard. And this is honestly how I always build new recipes from the beginning. Okay. What, like you take some things that you like and you see how they work together? Yeah, and I know I want a certain ratio of, of flavors, and I've been doing this long enough to be able to figure it out. Now, this is all Calder. This is a half a cup of sriracha sauce. I'm going to bet that because of all the sweet, this isn't going to be too hot. This is going to be going against that. Counterpoint. And let's see. You've got the orange juice in yeah, there, which is perfect. All that, sriracha. all that sriracha. Actually, you want to start mixing? You can start sure. mixing. About three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. I chose brown sugar because I feel it'll be sort of deep and a little bit rich. We're going back now to tangy. A quarter cup of rice wine vinegar. So this is the sauce, basically. Now, I think before we go any further, I'm going to taste it just to see how it goes. If, it, if I'm on the right track before here. Before we add the raw pork. Before we go in there with a pork shoulder that's about. Oh, try it. It's about a six pound, six to seven pound boneless pork shoulder. Mm. You like it? It's going to go really well with the pork, I can tell. Yeah, you can tell. So I got it. I'll you got it. it? Okay, yeah. so just get that in there carefully. Don't like plop it down and let it go anywhere. And we pretty much need to let this marinate for a bit. I mean, oh, beautiful piece of meat. Okay. Uh, fat or meat side down? I would go meat side down to start with because it'll suck up all of the wonderful flavors and it fits beautifully in there. And then turn the whole thing over. Like just get the whole thing completely saturated. Yeah. So if you just turn it. One then, more time. One more time so that it's fat side up, then we'll be all ready to just throw it in the oven after it marinates in the fridge for four hours at least. At least, right? You could do it longer than that if yeah. you were more organized than I am, but. Four hours is just fine. You can wash your hands. It's been four hours already at 325 degrees. So we need to bring it out and baste it and crank that heat up. Would well, you? Yeah, no problem. Check this out. Oh, that is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Now, what you need to do, though, is you need to use a spoon, honey. A spoon, not this? Well, I like to just really get lots okay. of it just draped over no top problem. of it. Because we have so much juice in there. What we're going for right now is using all that liquid to get it cooked and braised, and then you start to reduce it a little bit. You don't want to get rid of the liquid, but you want to reduce it, and then that's where that caramelization comes. And don't forget how many sweet type of things we have in there that are mixed with the savory, tangy so items. So I'm putting it back in. We're going to cook it for like another half an hour and crank up the heat a little bit to get yes. a little darker. Yes. And Am please, I leaving the top on? Uh, yes. Okay. 375 degrees, and then in the very end, we'll take the top off, and then just let it cook away for about 30 minutes. 
And in the last half hour of cooking, I took the top off and this is what happened. It got caramelized, like I said. And all I do, and again, I'm looking for ease here, is I just shred it. It comes just completely apart. And I think I was pretty lucky. I just got to take a little taste and see how our, our improvisational marinade is amazing. Wow. So I'm going to get this to the table. All of Calder's friends will be here soon. And I just can't wait to see him having a good time.